Hi guys, it's Miss Crescenzo. Today we're going to be reading the story Iris and Walker and the Field Trip. Chapter 1, The Aquarium. One day, Iris's teacher, Miss Cherry, had an exciting announcement. This Friday, we're going on a field trip to the aquarium. The aquarium, said Iris's best friend, Walter. Oh boy. Are we going to see the sharks, asked Benny. Are we going to see the penguins, asked Iris. Are we going to see the starfish, asked Jenny. We are going to see many wonderful things, said Miss Cherry. That night, Walter had supper at Iris's house. Our class is going on a field trip, Rosie, said Iris. Up, said baby Rose. Where are you going, asked Iris's father. We're going to the aquarium, said Iris. On the bus, said Walter. And we're going to see the penguins, Iris told Grandpa. I love penguins, said Grandpa. And after that, we're going to have a picnic in the park, said Walker. Oh my, I wish I were going on the field trip, said Iris's mother. Hey Walter, do you want to be bus buddies, Iris asked. Sure, said Walter. We made it to chapter two titled The Bus Ride. On Friday morning, Miss Cherry said, we are very lucky to have Jenny's mother come on the field trip with us today. Jenny gave her mother a big hug. I know we're gonna have a great time, said Miss Cherry. Now let's go over the rules. Remember, pay attention. Hang on to your partner, stay with the group, and if you get lost, stay where you are and I will find you, said Miss Cherry. I've never been lost, have you? Iris asked Lulu. No, and I sure wouldn't want to be, said Lulu. That would be scary, said Benny. Really scary, said Walter. The children climbed aboard the school bus. Iris and Walter chose the very last seat. They bounced up and down. Benny told knock-knock jokes. Lulu made up silly fish songs. Everyone was happy and excited. Nobody thought any more about getting lost. We made it to chapter three titled, Where's Walter? When the bus pulled up in front of the aquarium, Iris said, look at all the people. Hey, Walter, said Benny. That boy is wearing a shirt just like yours. He is, said Walt Walter. Now, children, it's very crowded here, so keep your eyes on me, said Miss Cherry. The children walked down a dark hallway. Everywhere they looked, there were fish. Ooh, they whispered. Sharks, said Benny. They look mean, said Iris. While the children were looking at the sharks, Miss Cherry and Jenny's mother counted everyone. Okay, follow me, said Miss Cherry. They came to a coral reef. Wow, said Iris and Benny. Walter could not say a word. He watched the angelfish swim and shimmer, the hermit crabs scurry, and the seagrass sway. Walter had never seen anything as wonderful as the coral reef. Are we going to see the penguins soon? asked Iris. That's our next stop, said Miss Cherry, and she counted everyone again. Off we go, said Miss Cherry. They walked past the starfish, they walked past the seahorses. Oh, look, there are the penguins, said Iris, taking Walter's hand. Don't you think they're cute, Walter? But Walter didn't answer. Iris turned around. She saw a boy. You're not Walter, said Iris. I'm Nick, said the boy. Where's my class, he asked. Iris looked all around. There were crowds of children. She could not see Walter anywhere. There you are, Nick, shouted a woman. I've been looking all over for you. Nick grabbed his teacher's hand and held on tight. Iris ran to Miss Cherry. Miss Cherry, I can't find Walter, she said. Walter's lost, asked Jenny. 
I can't find him anywhere, said Iris. We made it to chapter four, the rescue. Don't worry, said Miss Cherry. I will find Walter. Now I want everyone to stay with Jenny's mother. Please let me come with you, said Iris. Miss Cherry looked at Iris's worried face. Come, Iris, you and I shall find Walter, said Miss Cherry. They walked past the starfish, but they didn't see Walter. They walked past the seahorses, but Walter wasn't there either. Iris thought about Walter, lost and alone. Poor Walter, he must be really scared, she said. We'll find him, said Miss Cherry. But there were so many people, how would they ever find Walter in the big crowd? Suddenly, Iris saw him. There he is, there's Walter, she cried. Walter was standing still in front of the coral reef watching the fish swim around and around. Walter, we've been looking for you everywhere, said Iris. Huh? said Walter. I was so worried, said Iris. Why? asked Walter. Because you were lost, said Iris. I was? he asked. Iris and Miss Cherry gave Walter a big hug. I'm very happy to see you, Walter, said Miss Cherry. And now, I think it's a good time to have our picnic, don't you? Outside, the sun was shining. Iris and Walter played tag with their friends. They sat under a tree and shared their lunches. Time to go, said Miss Cherry. When the bus pulled up in front of school, Grandpa was waiting. How was the field trip? he asked. It was fabulous, said Walter. We saw angelfish and hermit crabs. And Walter got lost said Iris. Oh no, said Grandpa. But I didn't know I was lost, said Walter. And I found him, said Iris. Then Iris and Walter told Grandpa the whole story, all the way home. And that is the end of our story, Iris and Walter and the field trip. So I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I will be back very soon with another read aloud. Bye guys!